Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Oakley Flight Jacket Sunglasses. Uh, these were made for cyclists, runners in mind. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, this is the flight jacket. This particular frame is the uh, polished black with prism road lenses. Uh, the code on it is the 009401-0137. So it comes in this uh, Oakley black box. Inside we have the case. It's a hard case. The Oakley warranty booklet and the uh, the flight jacket. The unique features there is the removable temples. Just the instructions how to remove it. And also the Oakley Advancer, which is uh, to help with the fog. I'll show you in a minute. Inside a case. You get your sunglasses in the uh, Oakley cleaning cloth pouch. You get extra nose pads, rubber nose pads. So this is a big, nice hard case. Nothing's gonna happen to it in this one. So inside you get your sunglasses. Uh, and there is a little pouch here. It includes the uh, extra temples. I'll show you in just a minute what that is. So this is a men's frame. It is a shield, so this is one piece. And it features a browless design, which allows for, you know, much more improved uh, field of view. Uh, on the frame, in the video, it does look more like rubber, but it is uh, plastic or the old matter material that Oakley uses, which is basically plastic. It is a very lightweight frame, great for all day use. Like it's extremely light. You think, you know, big lens, it's gonna be heavy. It's, it's really light. Now uh, the width across you know, the whole frame, it's uh, 148 millimeters wide. Uh, these were made for people with faces to medium to large. It's in between that. So the two features is the advancer, which is here in the middle, connected to the uh, the rubber nose pads back here. So when you press down on it, like this, it'll extend it. It'll go back uh, roughly seven millimeters. And this is because, you know, it's for cyclists and runners. So, you know, when you get sweaty working out, you know, the lenses will start fogging up or getting hot. So it'll just fog up. But with this, the Advancer, you know, it allows more air to go through and it, you're not as close to the lens. So it'll help with the fog. So it's a great design. But I do have one issue with it. It's not as easy to push back um, as it is, you know, like uh, to push it back in. I mean, it's easy when you take it off, kind of like, you know, just push with this. I kind of push down with this. But then, like, while you're wearing it, it's not as easy to push it back in. Like it's easy to push it, you know, out while you're wearing it. But in order to do it, the best way that I found was while you're wearing it. Basically, like grab it like this and just, you know, go push down. So it'll hit your nose and then it'll go back. But that's like the most, like push it this way. 
It's hard to do it to show you, but anyway, while you're wearing it, kind of push down. It does hurt a little bit, so it's it's better if you just take it off and do it. So with the other features, so the uh, the temples that come with it, it's slightly shorter. Let me get the other one. So as you can see, it fit in, it'll make it, I believe it's five millimeters shorter. So in order to take these off, you have to like push it like this it feels like you're gonna break it but don't worry it seems to be tough but you do have to put quite a bit of force into it but it snaps like that it is easy to push back in but in order to take it off it feels like you're breaking it then you can replace it with the shorter one if you want to back in so it is a little bit shorter it's a nice little feature but you know don't worry to use false because it really needs it in order to remove it I don't know what this particular material is Right here, it kind of like looks like rubber, but it's not really rubber. It feels almost plastic, but it's not plastic. It's like a softer material. But I don't know. I think this this will help with grip. So yeah, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.